Now at six, some sad news to report from Soldier Field as we come on the air tonight at six. Chicago Bears legend and one of the greatest linebackers ever, number 51, Dick Butkus, has died. Let's bring in Marshall Harris now. And Marshall, we are just hearing from the Bears and also from family, too. Yeah, a legendary athlete, Joe. Richard Marvin Dick Butkus died peacefully in his sleep overnight at home in Malibu, California. Butkus was Chicago through and through, starring on and off the field. Butkus was just at Soldier Soldier Field when the Bears kicked off the season last month against the Packers, a place he dominated as an eight-time Pro Bowler, six-time All-NFL player in nine seasons from 1965 to 1973, a Pro Football Hall of Famer, Buckus, named the NFL's 10th best player when the league celebrated 100 years. After growing up on the south side of Chicago, he starred at the University of Illinois, where he was an All-American. His impact so great that the Dick Buckus Award now annually given to the top college linebacker in the country. Bears chairman George McCaskey issuing a statement which reads in part, Dick was the ultimate bear and one of the greatest players in NFL history. He was Chicago's son. He exuded what our great city is about and not coincidentally what George Hallis looked for in a player. Toughness, smarts, instincts, passion and leadership. Legendary Dick Buckus dies at 80 years old known as the maestro of mayhem hearts heavy tonight as the bears have a game in just over an hour that will undoubtedly become a tribute to one of the greatest to ever do it. I'm sure they've somehow found 51 numbers to put on helmets. I wouldn't be a bit surprised in time for the game tonight. Marshall, we'll see you with more in just a little bit. Thanks.